Good morning. My phone is telling me I have to rotate, so I guess I'll rotate. Um, what I figured I would try today is that um, I was talking about water and the strength of water, and I had a call I had to take, so sorry about that. But I was reading a, a book, the Dr. Wayne Dyer, Living the Wisdom of the Tail, and the reason I, I was this spoke to me is that I've been doing a lot of reading, and I love nature, and it talked about water and how smooth and soft water is, but it's got a strength that's unmatched. And I think in our lives, we have to live a life that is, that our body is fluid, um, movable, but strong like water in, in our commitment to sticking with it. And this uh, verse really spoke to me. It said, this is um, again, Wayne Dyer, Living the Words of the Tale. The phone is in a certain direction. It's called the 78th verse. And what it says is, Nothing in the world is softer and weaker than water, but for attracting the hard and the unyielding, nothing can surpass it. There is nothing like it. The weak overcomes the strong, the soft surpasses the hard. In all the world, there is no one who does not know this, but no one can master the practice. Therefore, the master remains serene in the midst of sorrow, and evil cannot enter his heart because he has given up helping. He is people's greatest help. It, the words appear paradoxical. And I thought like with water, I found it so interesting that I was reading something about the Grand Canyon and it talked about that the Grand Canyon was formed by water running through it. And we all know that a stone that is rough will be smoothed out by water running over it. So as soft and as mobile as water appears to be, it has a commitment to sticking with it to where no matter how difficult the obstacle is, it can overcome it. So I think we, as people trying to improve our lives, have to be fluid like water and able to move like water and committed that no matter how long it takes to smooth that edge or to overcome that obstacle, that we will stick with the journey, that we will never give up on ourselves. We will never give up moving forward. Um, this book had a lot of wonderful quotes and a lot of things to think about. But the idea of water, um, it never dawned on me until I read that, that the Grand Canyon was created through waters running through it. Granted, it took millions and millions and millions of years, but nothing can surpass a commitment to every day breaking down a small little barrier that's in your way. So that's what I want to do, and that's what I'm hoping for you and for everyone else. Remember that the most beautiful things that, that are gifts to us from nature were created over millions of years of persistent, consistent, never-ending commitment to making change. So never give up on changes that will make your life better. We all deserve the best of what's out there, and we just have to be committed that no matter what obstacle comes in our way, we will be fluid like water, and we'll keep over, we will keep overcoming it until we reach our goals. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I hope that today, for every single one of us, we just find that one thing that brings us closer to our goal. We're not looking for 100 steps, just that one step so that we can get on to the next part of what our journeys where our journeys are headed because there are beautiful things waiting for us if we can open up, make our comfort circles bigger, make ourselves feel good, and enjoy, be curious, and adventurous as we venture down the road. Thank you and have a beautiful day. We'll touch base tomorrow. I did do a quick one in TikTok and I hid in here, so uh, I think I'm back on track again. Uh, sorry I had to get off earlier today, but there was an important call that came through. Thank you and have a beautiful day.